What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we're going to talk about the Cilio and I'm going to give you more details about it and how it's going to be, what it's going to support and how it's going to be different compared to Cydia. And I'm making this video because many of you have requested it and therefore here it is. So I'm going to start with this tweet in here which is a demo of Cilio and project repo on Clutter, refreshing repos in under two seconds. Now this video in here pretty much shows you how quickly this project works and I'm not going to play the video in here, I'm just going to link it down below in the description so that you can see it and compare it with Cydia. Now what is this uh, repo on Clutterer in here? Well, this one is a project initiated by Coolstar and this project is pretty much a sort of filter for bad tweaks that simply do not work on iOS 11.x and there is of course no reason to keep something that doesn't work in the list just to, I don't know, brag that you have many many tweaks in the list. So what they're trying to do is to pretty much make less tweaks appear, but these tweaks that do appear will be compatible with iOS 11.x. Coolstar posted this tweet in here just a few hours ago, and as you can see, the number of packages without the repo filter is enormous, and of course, if you add the filter, only 6,000 packages are currently working, so 90% of the packages that Cydia shows are not even updated past iOS 9. This means that they're compatible with iOS 8, iOS 7, iOS 6, iOS 4, iOS 3, and so on, which means they are completely useless nowadays because I don't believe that anybody is still using iOS 4 to this date in time. So what this project repo on Clutterer is trying to do is to pretty much filter everything that is not compatible with iOS 11 and fortunately enough Cilio will come with that project by default which means that you will not be able to see incompatible tweaks in Cilio which in my opinion was a major design flow in Cydia. Since a lot of times many people installed tweaks that were not confirmed to work and they were not actually working they weren't updated for the version they were running and they bricked their device. Fortunately, this is not going to happen anymore. But of course, you should keep in mind that according to Coolstar, this is not going to be a function that you can actually opt in or out. This is going to be on by default, so you cannot disable it. Anyways, they posted this in here, quote, contrary to some rumors, we will not be blocking any repos from Cilio. While we do not condone illegal repos and we will not help with any issues with them, users are responsible for their own devices. So there were some rumors that they're going to block any illegal repos or those piracy related repos like Xerald and so on. But nope, apparently they're not going to do that. They're giving the user the freedom to pretty much add whatever repo they want as long as it is compatible. And repos that were made after April 2015 are compatible. Now some of the older repos will not work because they were made in a very weird way that was used by Cydia at that time. Anyway, something else that is very important is this in here. They posted that, quote, iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10 users should expect Cilio to run significantly faster compared to the other devices as Cilio will be able to take advantage of all six CPU cores, though Cilio will still be very fast on other devices. So what this means is that the newer your device is, the better it is, because of course it will mean that Cilio will have more resources to work with. Now this is actually something obvious by today's standards, but Cydia doesn't do that. Cydia would work pretty much the same on an iPhone 6 and on an iPhone 8, because Cydia has been constructed a decade ago when of course multi-core devices were a magic thing of the future. So. Of course, we should expect Cilio to work faster. Now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are not very happy with the fact that Cilio will completely replace Cydia in the next jailbreaks, but this will happen. Cilio has been built to work with iOS 11.x, with the Electra, and it's made with 2018 technology, which means that it's going to load faster, it's going to refresh faster, it's going to install faster, it's going to crash less often, and of course it makes it very very easy to port it from an iOS version to another, which means that they do not have to lose weeks trying to fix Cydia instead of working on a jailbreak. Now I do believe that Cilio will pick up at some point and after it's released people will get to love it, because it's fast and it's of course showing only the compatible tweaks. And and it looks nice, it's inspired from the iOS 11.x design, but I do believe that some people will of course be reluctant on whether they should use it or not. Now I should tell you that Cilio will be the future, so although Cydia can still be made to work with patches and band-aids and whatever, 
it will be replaced at some point and we have to replace it at some point since it can no longer keep up with the game. There is nobody to actually properly update it to work with the newer versions. The problems with Cydia began on iOS 11 when iOS 11 has been released and Soric did absolutely nothing to fix it and we're at the end of iOS 11. iOS 11.4.1 is very likely to be the last version of iOS 11.x and then of course during the fall we're going to get iOS 12. So I think at this point we shouldn't expect Soric to come out of the shadows and just drop an update. It's probably less likely to happen. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope I made things clear about Silio. Till the next time, I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.